I, I think for levels across the board, age, um, level of student, whatever, I think listening is the most important skill that I would bring to the classroom and it's taken me a long time to learn it because obviously you get caught up in the excitement of interaction and teaching and, and wanting to transmit things but it's so important to step back and listen as well because especially little kids want to tell you things um, and if you don't create time in the class where they can tell you things and you can take the time to listen and give them that attention and that counts for adults as well and teenagers especially perhaps then that you're not going to create the bond with them that you could. Listening is very important. Primary learners need, as much as anyone else, and we tend to forget it, uh, relaxed and quiet time. A lot of primary classes tend to be hyper overdrive, songs and games and running and dancing and shouting and crafts. And, well, crafts are quite nice because they give that quiet time where information will settle. Um, and young learners need that to get rid of the overload, move it into somewhere more useful and just free their brains for something more. It's a quiet time to build it in. The first things I was ever advised to do was when I was doing my Celtic course in 1987 and it's happened again from other people that I was told, sit down. I spent too much time at the board, too much time being a teacher, and I said, if you want to connect with people, you need to sit down and be on the same level as them and make eye contact, and there are times when you need to be standing at the board, there are times when you need to be sitting and be part of the group and be on the same level and, and make it clear that you're part of their group as well. Sitting down when it's appropriate, I think, is something very simple that makes a big difference. What I had to do was I had to rehearse because there was someone came in the door when I was finishing my session and it said, end session now. Fortunately, I was exactly at the point where my session was due to end, but I had to rehearse it three or four times to get it cut down to that point. It would have been very awkward if I hadn't. Um, but make sure if you're giving a workshop that there's something meaningful for people to discuss and something meaningful for people to take away and something they can actually take into their classrooms and either apply as theory or practical activities. There's got to be some engagement with your audience. Well, the talk was all about the role of, it wasn't all about, but maybe the most important thing was the role of dopamine in the brain, making an emotional attachment to what we learn. And we won't learn anything if we don't have that production of dopamine. Um, and so, making a positive atmosphere in your class. It's no good having a super organized, super disciplined class if the children don't make some sort of emotional reaction, emotional engagement with what they're learning, and that's what's going to make it effective.